welcome to Ilagan Whiteboard Friday, where we look at complex legal and compliance issues in a simple to do way. This series is brought to you by Ilagan, your partner and provider of end to end business services. Hello, welcome to Ilagan Whiteboard Fridays, where we take care of various uh, uh, complex legal and taxation and compliances related issues in a user friendly fashion. Today uh, we will look at digital signature or DSC. So what is a digital signature? A digital signature, uh, so in today's world if you look at, a lot of uh, e-governance initiatives are being rolled out by Indian government. So a lot of places you have to apply things online or you have to file your various returns online. Now since things are moving to a digitized world, you cannot just sign all the documents, scan it and upload it. So this is a, a digital signature is a is an instrument I would say which establishes your digital identity. There is a proper process how you should take it. So this establishes your digital identity when a, it's easy to take a digital signature. You can contact your chartered accountant or you can get in touch with us. Uh, it requires your photo ID proof, photograph, uh, PAN number, address proof. These are some documents and you need to sign some forms which can be verified and then you are issued a DSC. Um, this looks something like this, so it comes with a CD and uh, there is a USB token with which it, uh, on which uh, this thing gets attached. So the digital signature is stored in this. This is a very secured way, so only person who have a token and who knows proper password and stuff, then only you can use the digital signature. Otherwise, if you don't want a token, you can still have the digital signature as a file. Where uh, uh, which can also be uh, used but uh, tokens are much more secured and it is highly recommended to use a token because this is your digital identity and it is your responsibility to protect it. Why you need a DSC? As I said, you a lot of things like if you are trying to incorporate a company now everything is online. So you have to file all the forms online or if you are filing your return then you have to file the returns online. So at that point of time, the, go the government uh, uses only DSC. So you have to use your digital signature and then apply for the forms or file your returns. Who needs a DSC? Uh, typically, uh, any person can have a DSC. Now income tax returns e-filing concept is catching up. So if you e-file your income tax return using a digital signature, you don't have to sign the acknowledgement and send it back. So theoretically, you can use it, but since digital signatures are still expensive, uh, normally individuals don't do it, but as a business owner, if you are a director in a company or if you are a designated partner of an LLP, you need to have a digital signature because one person needs to sign all the documents and they are the only choice is e-filing. There is no offline filing of returns available. So all the directors or designated partners need to have it or even proprietor who is uh, who's a tax audit case like for example 15 lakh and plus turnover then also you have to e-file your returns so then you need a DSC. There are different classes of DSC which is issued and this is meant for various use. Class 1 is normally to just find the emails and stuff which is not a very popular thing in India right now. Class 2 is where a lot of private limited companies operate and this is what is recommended. So this can be used at uh, uh, registrar of companies, income tax returns, uh, signing of email and lot many other things. Class 3 is a little more higher class where uh, people like uh, directors in the DGFT and some uh, e-governance tenders and stuff, there they insist on a class 3 signature, so there you will need a class 3 thing. So before taking the digital signature, you should first find out what is your use of digital signature and what kind of digital signature is acceptable there. Based on that, you need to take the digital signature. You can contact your chartered accountant or any other rep uh, data signature representative or you can contact us to get a DSC. Um, for, uh, that's it on data signature uh, thing. For any other queries you can always contact us at support at elagan.com or you can check out our knowledge base of elagan.com of the KV. Thank you.